fellow panelists just said that the Iranians have admitted that they have a nuclear weapons program that they're making nuclear weapons. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth. They've denied that they're seeking nuclear weapons over and over again. What they have is a civilian nuclear program which is safeguarded by the IAEA under their safeguards agreement. Any non-nuclear weapons state such as Iran which is a member of the non-proliferation treaty must have a safeguards agreement with the IAEA. Where, which allows the International Atomic Energy Agency inspectors to monitor their nuclear facilities and verify uh, the non-diversion, as the IAEA has in the case of the Iranians more than a dozen times over the years, uh, including just late last year. Uh, they have continued to verify the non-diversion of any nuclear material to a military or other special purpose. So what they're basically saying to you is, we have proved the negative. We have proved what they have not done. They have not diverted any of their nuclear material away. Nobody's accusing the Iranians of producing plutonium or having any plutonium. They're being accused of enriching uranium, but they're enriching uranium to a measly 3.6 percent industrial grade for use in their electricity program and then beginning only a couple of weeks ago when after they accepted Obama's proposal he refused to accept their acceptance of it they went ahead and began to enrich a very small amount of this uranium to 20 percent uranium-235 which still is a far sight from uh, weapons grade uranium and it's to be used in their American built medical isotope reactor in Tehran uh, however if you turn it to ABC, CBS, NBC, CNN, uh, Fox News, or any of the rest of them, the Fox guys and, and David Schuster over at the liberal, the liberal channel, MSNBC, will all agree that there's a scary, dangerous nuclear weapons threat from Iran. And they just figure, you don't know about a safeguards agreement, you don't know not about the non-proliferation treaty, you don't know the difference between 3.6 percent and 90 plus percent uranium-235, and therefore, if you're afraid of getting nuked in your jammies in the middle of the night, you'll let them go ahead and have their war. Last September, Mark Hosenball reported in a web-only exclusive for Newsweek magazine that the CIA and, in fact, the rest of the intelligence community, uh, including the other 16 uh, American intelligence agencies that we know about, uh, that they all agreed and put paperwork on President Obama's desk, a new report on his desk saying that they stand by their conclusion of November 2007, that the Iranians do not have a nuclear weapons program and they have not made the political decision to start one. On February the 15th, the Director of National Intelligence, Dennis Blair, and I forget the gentleman's name, but he's the head of the Defense Intelligence Agency, the DIA, they both sat there, sworn under oath before the U.S. Imperial Senate, and said, we still stand by the conclusion of the unanimous intelligence, uh, uh, National Intelligence Council, representatives of all 16 intelligence agencies, from November of 2007. And that is, the Iranians have not made the decision to begin to make nuclear weapons. And no, the ability to take a couple of hundred pounds of uranium enriched to uh, 3.6% 235 and and turning that into above 90 94% pure U-235 to make it a weapon is not the same as flipping a light switch and taking one day you're talking still about years and years plus you gotta have the metallurgist machine it into the actual pieces and then you actually would have to have the I'm not so certain about the terminology people quibble, they do quibble about what's a delivery vehicle, what's a warhead. A warhead is the bomb. The delivery vehicle is what you put that in. Well, they don't have delivery vehicles and they don't have warheads, so I'm not sure how these things are supposed to hurt any of us. It's just nonsense. Uh, another thing I would like to mention, uh, or try to hit off of something that Mr. Ehrlich said in his talk there, is that a war with Iran would be a disaster. Uh, that's the way he put it. Uh, the way I put it is that a war with Iran would mean the deaths of thousands of American soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan. 4,000 soldiers have died in the Iraq war in order to install the Iranians' puppets from the Dawa Party, the Mahdi Army, and the Supreme Islamic Council in power in Baghdad. And both uh, Abdulaziz al-Hakim from the Supreme Islamic Council, who's now dead but his son is in charge, and uh, Muqtad al-Sadr, the big kingmaker from 
the election a couple of weeks ago, have promised that they would go to war with the American occupation in the United States. These are the people who did not fight. These are the people who gained when America overthrew Saddam Hussein and have waited this whole time. And they have said, if you bomb Iran, you're going to have to start the war with us all over again. Not to mention the fact that our soldiers are right there within missile range. It is also perfectly within the capability of the Iranians to close the Straits of Hormuz at the gates of the Persian Gulf and drive the cost of oil up over $200 a barrel, which would uh, probably destroy what's left of the global economy and the division of labor in, in global trade. Music